I was a casino worker. I worked for Harris for 13 years. I never paid attention to art. I never thought about creating art. So I, on an off day, I, I told myself, oh, I'll go look at this famous art. Picasso, Van Gogh, I knew the names. And I'm looking at this great art, and it was the Picasso, it was Le Rev. And as I looked at it and felt this stimulation visually, I started thinking about painting to stimulate my eyes like that. <laughs> Creating was on my mind. As my life turned out 20 years later now, that moment was to get me to find my truth. And that certainly has happened. So a year later after I, I looked at the Picasso, I got a kidney transplant. Four years later, I hit rock bottom from drinking too much. I lost my kidney. I lost my 13-year job from Harrah's. I lost my insurance. I lost my medicine. I had too much pride to ask for help. I lost my kidney. Back on dialysis. Thinking it's the end of my life. And I told myself, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna do a painting every day. I told myself, take your pick, pal. You could have this life, or you don't have to have this life. And then an epiphany came through my head. To me, like the moment standing in front of the Picasso, it was God telling me, this is what your life is. You're an artist. It's not that bad. And the truth that you find as an artist leads you to the ultimate freedom as a human. It taught me to be an individual. It taught me self-love. So this freedom has allowed me to get to original artwork. I wake up every day knowing now I get to create art and then the possibility of people coming through my life that I get to have a, a deep, soulful human connection with in just a moment or if for a lifetime. And that is what I love best about being an artist. Thank you.